Chama-se Cartão Solidário. É um cartão que garante descontos nas compras, em cada vez mais lojas, e ao mesmo tempo angaria dinheiro para o apoio a crianças desfavorecidas de quatro instituições. Ajudar ao comprar. Este é o Cartão Solidário, um cartão que dá descontos em várias marcas e que ajuda quatro projetos solidários. Sempre que o titular vai a estas lojas, usufrui, quando faz a sua compra, mostra o cartão e usufrui imediatamente no momento de sua compra de um desconto e uma parte do desconto é depois entregue às várias instituições beneficiárias do projeto. Fundação do Gil, Sol, Raríssimas e Novo Futuro são as associações que recebem os frutos do cartão, que também traz descontos a quem a utiliza, desde serviços de saúde a combustíveis. 4 cêntimos é para o próprio titular, quando vai abastecer, e um sétimo reverto para estas instituições. Neste momento, os mais de 85 mil titulares já têm este cartão, apenas com um cêntimo de ajuda, já chegou a haver um mês em que a contribuição para estas quatro instituições foi mais de 5 mil euros. É uma forma direta de ajudar e até acabamos por nos ajudar a nós próprios, porque ao fim e ao cabo também estamos a usufruir aqui de alguns cêntimos que durante, passando algum tempo, como estava a dizer, vai nos ajudar no orçamento lá de casa. À venda em vários pontos, com apenas 10 euros pode comprar o cartão, a que já se associaram mais de 40 marcas. É a prova de que ajudar não custa nada. So, hi everyone. I'm here to present our projects, our IMS projects, that is uh, applying the VCW tool to Cartão Solidário. That is a project of the Association Sorri Solidário. So, let's proceed. Um, we found a problem that it, it is what is the best strategy to attract more clients, enhance more companies. And we are explaining what and how and why uh, we arise with this problem. So, our final solution was to connect, to associate the card with big retail supermarkets. And why is that? Because these supermarkets are the ones that people are going to do their daily basis sh shopping, their daily basis chores, and why not appeal to the rational side of the card instead of the emotional side. So people when buying these, those products, fruits, vegetables, uh, milk, whatever, they are going to use the card because it is obvious that they are going to have a discount and on the other side they, they are helping more NGOs and more uh, solutions. So why not adapting to on a daily basis using the car to help other uh, institutions. So what are the required resources for that? We are going to do the 3M analysis in, in terms of man, manpower, um, to have to the five staff that the Cartão Solidário already have, we are going to have uh, three, uh, uh, four uh, new acquisitions that are going for uh, communications, legal agreements, and if, an informatic engineer, and we are going to have also international marketing, marketing intern to more explore and have like the youth side of the Cartão Solidário. Um, so, uh, regarding these projects, uh, the estimated time, the minutes to do this project is around two to three months. And that lead, lead us to the money that we are going to need to apply this project, to implement uh, this project. The money needed it is around um, 9,100 9, euros uh, with the three full-time employees and one intern. But we have to um, emphasize here that this budget will depend on external, external support from other uh, entities and other companies to Sorri Solidar. Um, so here we are going to start our pro the project itself and how we apply the different phases of the VCW applied to Cartão Solidar. So first of all, let's meet the team. Uh, it's me, André, as you can see, and Marta Santos. Um, and here we have the team of Cartoon Solidario. We have the president, that is Miguel Mendes, and we have the other member of the, of the team, that is Sofia Cruz, which I have to thank you, uh, because they, are, they really had supported our team and our projects, and they received us always with open arms and with the sense, with the spirits, always to help and support. Uh, so, uh, regarding our abstract, 
Um, just have to say very briefly that um, I'm going to explain it further, but Cartão Cidadão is a card that gives discounts and aims to help other institutions. Um, we start, we have our phases and we reach out on the final with four solutions, high value solutions. Um, then uh, at the end we form the prototype that uh, we are going to explain furthermore in the project. So regarding our value creation wheel, here are the different phases and we are, we are, I am explaining why and how and what um, were the process uh, to apply this VCW to Cartão Solidar. So, uh, in the phase of discover value, we are saying that the challenge that we reached was how to attract more clients and hence more companies. This is crucial because we wanted to leverage, wants to take Cartão Solidar to another step, to a whole different step because they have an excellent project, they have a good idea, but they have to leverage, they have to take to another step this car. And by, the, by solving this problem, the output, the solution of this, um, of this tool will give us the resolution, the, the resolution to a leverage problem, to a communication, to awareness. We are going to take Cato Solidario to an, uh, another level of recognition. We want to reach more stakeholders, different stakeholders, allowing them to get even more clients and uh, even more NGOs and projects to help. Um, so here we are going to the first phase of the, um, the VCW uh, tool, that is the Diagnostic Movement Challenge and the KPIs uh, definition. Here we have our five wise analysis. Uh, so starting from the beginning, we have that what is the best strategy to attract more associates and hence smart companies. We ask five times why, and we reach a conclusion to the core of the humanitarian help. So, what is the mission of Suri Solidario? That is to help to uh, balance this uh, unbalanced society that we live in, um, and we reach the final solution, the final why, is that our current society has the core values inverted, and we think and it's true, we have our car, car values inverted. And we have values like selfishness and paucity instead of values of union and solidarity. The mission, the project, is to leverage the card. But the mission of the card and the mission of the company will start with these bases. That is to make values like union, solidarity, uh, core values in our society. So uh, now explaining the card. Um, this is a three-way card. We have uh, three players, customers, the brands, and different NGOs. So, how does it work? Um, customers associate with the card, they get the card, they can use it on several uh, companies and brands, and they get discounts. Then, a part of the discount are going to NGOs. And these NGOs, the NGOs are going to uh, get this money on their own projects, social solidarity projects. So, uh, Cartão Solidário, as I said, is a card that gives discounts and a part goes to people and another, another part goes to social NGOs. Um, regarding Suri Solidário, Suri Solidário, uh, it is an association, it is, it is based on Campo Grande in Lisbon. Um, and here you can see their offices and the, the street, where are they? And their main offices where they are currently working. Uh, so, we have here that uh, the car was launched in 2004, but only in 2009 is, is when and where the car gained more recognition, more awareness and more clients. In 2009, um, three main ambassadors were raised for Cartão Solidar. You have Silvia Riz, a famous Portuguese actress, you have Luís Represas, that is a well-known Portuguese singer, and we have Anjos, a well-famous group, boys band, the Portuguese band. And even here, in 2009, when the launching of the second edition, <coughs> the card appeared in the main two private channels, Portuguese private channels, that was uh, SIC and TVI, SIC and TVE in Portuguese. In uh, a new segment, that is the Journal de Zuit, and on Faber Show, a currently segment that goes on Saturday on SIC, SIC in Portuguese. 
Currently, the brand, uh, the Cartão Solidário, comes with 43 companies and brands. Um, just to say, we, we don't have here the 43 companies, but we have here the most well-known companies uh, associated with the Cartão Solidário. So we can have like Carlos, Repsol, Optivision, Barroca Park, Wall Street English, Aqua Show, Uh So we can see here that Cartão Solidário is a very um, customizable service, a, a very customizable product. So as you can see, these are different companies and like Carglass doesn't sell them the same product or service that Repsol sells. But the purpose of Cartoon Solidarity is the same. When we buy a product, we, we get a discount and the other part of the discount goes to social NGOs. Just to give an example, we have Repsol. So let's imagine that I'm going to refuel my car and when I present the car, when paying the fuel on my car, I get a 5 cent discount. But these 5 cent discounts, for me, are just 4 cents and the other 1 cent that is left are going to NGOs, projects from social NGOs. The actual value proposition of the Solidarity card of Carton Solidarity is based on communication, uh, communication. But this communication is not um, uh, a basic communication, it's a social communication. Not a free communication, it's just a way that gives companies their job, their mission of helping uh, social projects and helping NGOs. Here we can uh, state some relevant numbers uh, by 2017, this year, that is, is ending right now. Uh, <coughs> Cartoon Solidario has now uh, around 100,000 associates with the card, and in terms of NGOs, there are around 600,000 heroes on support to these NGOs. These are some examples of Kashir Sir, Terra uh, Dreams, Land of Dreams, APA, that is a victim support, uh, Yellow Heart, APPDA, Lisbon, and Gill Foundation. Uh, only to note that Gill Foundation is the only, uh, right here, in these lots of uh, NGOs, it, it is the only one that is from the previous edition, the second edition. These ones, are from the third edition that was launched in 2012. So, regarding our task analysis, to wrap it up, we just have here our threats that we can, uh, we can uh, emphasize that there is a possibility of replication, opportunities that, that, that there is a growth of the company's adoption of loyalty and discount cards. The strengths is that they have a strong adaptability, but instead of the weaknesses, we are saying that today, the card has different weaknesses and uh, several weaknesses. We can say that a lack of digital presence, a low brand awareness and a low financial capacity. These are crucial to leverage, are going to be cru crucial to leverage and to exclude from these projects from the card. Uh, we have some examples that uh, we give just the adaptation of the card so already existing ones can solve the awareness issue and increase the numbers of products available. It's just one of the solutions. Here we have to, wrap, to uh, connect with the opportunity that is growth and strong adaptability. We have that a different, a different wide of range of companies can use as their loyalty card this Carton Solidarity. So here we want to emphasize that our problem that is, since 2010, the number of associates have just grown at a rate of 2.5% a year, which corresponds to a total of 15,000 associates in seven years. When, but these values, we can say that these values are not so good, because why? From 2004 to 2010, Cardoso achieved achieve an outstanding 80,000, uh, 85,000 new associates. So this is around 40,000 new associates per year. This is way more than the Cartoon Solidar did um, in 2004, 2010, than just since 2010. So this is a problem that we want to solve. This is a lack of communication, awareness and recognition that our purpose is to solve that problem. So on our phase one tab, uh, we, have, uh, we have here our KPIs, we have project input related, project process related, 
and project output related, just to emphasize that regarding our projects, um, the one main KPI was one useful solution emerging from this project, and the intention of replicate to replicate BCW in the future situation scenarios because we want also to do the BCW to apply to a, a business model to a value to a value creation model that we want to apply to Cartão Solidário. Here are some um, some other uh, projects non-related and the company's outcomes related. Here, just to know that a high increased value of the CDL project for the key decision makers in terms of projects, we have that uh, I think it is really important to have a high fulfillment with the final problem, problem solution matching. Now we are going to, to phase two, that is to create value. Uh, it is this phase. So, Uh, so, uh, we have that um, we arise uh, somehow here 31 solutions. From, from who? Now, SB students, Ishtia students, technology company representatives, and so on and so forth. We had Shad's opinion, Debbie's advocates, Angel's advocates, the retail sector representative, the multinational representative, and we, have, we want to thank the ENCF representative uh, that. It gave, us, uh, it gave us, it was a really nice advisor for us because it was really helpful to create new value and to create, uh, to have another perspective on this problem. Uh, so in this create value, uh, we have that here, just some of our solutions. We have that proposed to further some of football, the Portuguese Federation of Football, to be an ambassador. Use sports to attract people. Have the Republicans president as one of the cards ambassadors. Here, why the Republicans president? Because, as we said, we have different stakeholders that we want to reach. But the president, known today as the people's president, I think we thought that it was a major uh, asset to our uh, projects and to our Cartão uh, Solidário. Here are more some of them. We have the user car and turn the hospitality sector, partner up with home furniture chains such as IKEA and Leroy Merlin. Here, IKEA and Leroy Merlin, we want to focus on the market that is the do it yourself. I think it is really important to do to do it, and the car will get a uh, huge leverage by uh, adding by having all these solutions. <coughs> uh, here, in our outside in view to create solutions, we have three high potential ideas that are related with supermarkets, tourism and hospitality and the banking sector. The banking sector. Here, just to know, just to, we have a um, pretty good uh, insight from the banking sector uh, that there is a huge potential for this, mar for this car to grow. And this is really good because um, this can have a co-branded car that is the car from the bank and the car that is the image from Suri Solidario and emerge those two into a car. And then all banks could leverage, could sell the cards and the commissions will, will disappear and those commissions that will disappear will go to social NGOs. Here we have a, a real good input. In our outside in view, we have again um, two high value solutions that are related with uh, multinationals and football clubs. Sports is it's like um, a way that can gather people together in one cause, that is football. So why not bring those values to us, to Cartão Solidário? Uh, so we did our pocket method and uh, <coughs> now with uh, criteria and filters, again, <coughs> We reach a total of 14 filters regarding the same, uh, almost the same, because we here we had to eliminate some of them because to get filters was a little bit harsh to do it. But we have we have 14 filters. Uh, these are some of the filters uh, we have, like from tech-based companies 
to B2C companies, disruptive products. Here we have um, filters that can leverage the car, filters that can uh, adapt the best solutions to the best idea, to the best solution that can have value to Cartão Solidário. Then again, we apply our poker method. So we are going to our third phase, the select and ranking. Uh, on this phase, uh, we, are, we are here on these, uh, these points in the assess phase. Uh, and after doing, uh, after doing the, um, the analysis of the, the filters, we reached out a total of 21 solutions. And these 20, 21 solutions was to rich tech companies like Airbnb, rich multinationals that goes from rich companies that already have discount cards. We reach a total of 21 solutions after applying the poker method and get input of our key decision makers. Here again, some of our uh, ideas and solutions. Uh, then we are going to the filters. Then after applying the poker method with the key decision makers and with the uh, inputs and the team of Cato Solidari, we are going to the phase of analyze. We reached, we just eliminated one filter. We end, ended up with 13 new filters. And why, why is that? Because we have tech-based companies and B2C companies, and we, we eliminate one of them. And just to know that uh, these filters were really appreciated by the key decision makers that were available to uh, find out a new and brand new solution. Then we are going to the ranking of the solutions. So in this ranking, uh, we have four that's compulsory filters. So these filters are must have, like multinationals with presence in Portugal, B2C companies, companies with daily, daily business products, <coughs> and companies with more than 15 branches in Portugal. These, those were the must have that were decided by the key decision makers. Uh, then uh, we have our, well, our optional features that are good to have. Then are the rest of the filters we have here on the good to have that are going to decide what, are, what is going to be the solution from our project. Then we reach our fourth stage, the capture value stage, when we apply the value creation funnel. Uh, so, um, our, this is our, our phase where, where, where we are, so we applied our filter, our Fiano. So we applied the first four filters, the must-have filters, and we reached to five final filters. Then we apply a field filter that, that uh, was on the group of the good-to-have filters, and we, we reached out four high-value solutions. And these solutions can be divided in two steps. Those, this, the first one, the cable operators and the electricity companies with supermarket chains are two solutions for companies to attract, to be with companies. Here are two solutions to reach companies. So the first ones are types that the card could leverage, so which kind of company can we go? And here we have two solutions to reach more companies, not this type that we have here, but to reach more and more solutions. Uh, then uh, we apply the, the poker method and then we have our uh, prototype. So we are on the phase that we are going to measure, we are going to build what is go are going to be our business model. So our business model on the ground phase, we have four steps. Then after gathering all the inputs, all the feedbacks from the, our devils, angels, from the different stakeholders, <clears throat> we found out that the idea with the most potential was to have supermarkets selling itself the card. So on the first phase we will associate with the supermarket and the supermarket will associate the card with a brand. Uh, there to say that this card will be their discount card, their loyalty card. So on step one, Sorry Solidar reaches an agreement with the supermarket. Um, then on step two, the supermarket puts the card for sale in its store. Then on step three, P 
people can acquire the car free to get the supermarket's discount. So, if people want, they can for free uh, get the card, but this card will only have the discounts from that supermarket chain. Then, on a, on a fourth step, um, as Cartão Solidário does, doesn't have only those discounts, they, if people can pay an annuity, they will, have, <coughs> they will have access to all the other discounts that uh, may be available on other brands and companies. Just to, uh, just to note here that uh, riches and agreements is that the Cartão Solidário is going to be part of the company, is going to be their loyalty card, their discount card. Uh, then we reach our final, uh, final step, that is the consolidate value, our business model. Uh, this is our final step. Uh, so we reach our business model canvas. Here we can see uh, very briefly what are, is going to be our business model. Uh, <clears throat> here we are targeting our segments, our families, young adults and elderly people. People that want to change the world, people that do their shopping, people that have an idea, have a clear mentality that helping is really important these days. Uh, then the revenue stream is really important because we want to leverage a car not in terms of NGOs and companies and clients, we have to have more revenues and this is important because as more clients we have, more revenues the car can have and associ association can have. The key resources we just stated that there is a team and for new staff, uh, the key, the value propositions, this is really important, the value propositions, because we want to pass the value, we want to pass that a higher value that the car does. And to do that, we stated that help people from social institutions. I think this is the, <clears throat> that has to be the rational side that when people are shopping, they have to think that I'm helping other people and that is good and not a bad thing. I, I do not have to ask other people to do it, I just have to do it myself because it's, it's correct and we are helping and we are uh, <clears throat> advancing to a more uh, balanced society. Then helping supporting social projects. As helping, we are helping people and projects that are going to make our society even better. Um, uh, on, on our fast five, phase five, so as we said again, um, our manpower mini men of 3M's analysis, uh, as we stated, are two three, two, three months to implement with four new acquisitions in terms of communication, legal agreements, informatic engineer, and in terms of marketing, international marketing. Then our 9,100 uh, budgets to implement this project. Uh, then we have our KPIs uh, to measure what was done and gathering and um, seeing what was the solution. We can measure from project output, project process related and project input related. Here we can see some uh, of those KPIs uh, that just to, just to know it is intended to, de to develop a new PCW at a later stage for the value proposition. As we said earlier, we want to apply PCW to now leverage other parts. The, as we have now the core foundation of Cartoon Solidario, we can now strength the Cartoon Solidario and Suris, and Suris Solidario by having a value proposition, a good value proposition that can gather <coughs> Different stakeholders from government to companies to other people to higher status people, and by that, uh, we want on a second phase reach a local value proposition for Cartoon Solidario, a, pro a value proposition that can gather different people and come together with a card uh, for everyone, uh, with a card that helps as the help to help uh, people with higher uh, social needs. Here are some of our KPIs again. Um, then we reach the hands of our, um, our project, our VCW appliance to Cartoon Solidario. Then we have some uh, recommendations and challenges that are next for the Cartoon Solidario. Here I just stated some of them that the Cartoon Solidario could apply to Sonai, Jerome Matisse and Lidl. 
they are some of the highest supermarket chains in Portugal and we have to say that even Lidl and Johnny Martins have an international presence so by applying, by getting contact with those two we can get a leverage and we can have multinationals with presence not only in Portugal but only outside, in, inside Europe and even outside Europe this is a, a step that is really good for Cartoon Solidarity as a step to internationalize to other countries and to help institutions produce from other countries <clears throat> then we have here Credit Agricola and Montpil, two, um, two banks that have the, uh, on their status uh, that they have some of the profits at the end of the year are going to social institutions so why not associate with Cartoon Solidario and help uh, both uh, CA and Montpil to gather to reach their final, so their final purpose that is also to help uh, private and public institutions uh, with social needs. Then, here, as I said, it's IKEA uh, or IKEA uh, that is on the market of do it yourself. People like it, people do it, and this trend is growing. So, why not apply Cartoon Solidarity also to IKEA? Um, so, uh, relating our project outputs and managerial implications. <clears throat> we received uh, a really good uh, feedback from one of the stakeholders that is that this car has yet um, an explored market to know. So this market has a huge potential to grow and a huge potential to really help who really needs. Um, so um, here our solutions are just going to make an initial leverage, um, but. The future team and the project and the staff of Suri uh, Solidario have to grab this project and just take it to another level. Uh, so here, uh, as we said, Suri uh, Solidario team will have to expand to face new challenges and here face a considerable financial effort as they have to find a reliable solution um, to get money and not just depend on external support. Here we have uh, two uh, stakeholder statements, one from uh, the banking sector, the other from the store manager. Here you can say that from SMEs the card would work. And here for the banking sector was a really good feedback that we, ha we have that <coughs> said they, he said to us that this card has enormous potential in the banking sector. Here um, the feedback was that this card were really good for multinationals but not for SMEs. So what we have learned with the VCW, uh, <clears throat> besides being a very practical tool, uh, it is a very demanding process, time for demanding process. This uh, requires it at, at every stage a whole new uh, market research, a whole new feedback. We have always to be in touch with the key decision makers, with different stakeholders to get all the information we need in the time that we have to make this project. So, and as we have uh, a very flexible uh, VCW tool, this can be applied to different challenges, to different problems. So, uh, the only thing that uh, we have to say uh, to you all is thank you very much, hope you enjoy it, and just again to appreciate the help of both Luis uh, and Sofia that really helped uh, doing this project. Thank you.